if you can spread your hands, brilliant, just like that. Mm -hmm. And then effectively put the heel of your hands into the clay. Yes. And then sort of press down at that. And then what I'll do is then go on to try and press each of your fingers in. His work in the field of theoretical physics has meant Professor Peter Higgs' reputation has spread far beyond the University of Edinburgh and now his contribution to the city he's called home for over 50 years is being recognised with the bestowing of the Edinburgh Award 2011. It's a great, great honour for me to be recognised by the uh, city which has become my adopted home. I, I first came to Edinburgh in um, 1949 as a student, hitchhiking up to the Highlands. The, the, there's a story which has been getting around that I came up for the festival, but I, in fact I didn't know much about the festival in 1949. It was, I think it was the only third, third time it, uh, there'd been one. It started in 1947. So um, I came to Edinburgh and the festival was, was really rather a distraction because it made it difficult to find somewhere to get bed, bed and breakfast for the night. And uh, I rather fell for, for the city and uh, some years later uh, I was very happy to have the opportunity to come and work here. It's nice that not just because Peter's possibly getting an award for the work he did in 64, but of all of the work that's been done since in promoting science and inspiring young people. In fact, a couple of the people who are actually working out at CERN now, who are actually some of the youngest academics at the university, are actually searching for the Higgs boson and they were taught as undergraduates and were here as postgraduates in Edinburgh. So in a sense it's nice because the story that starts in, well, 1948 when Peter comes to Edinburgh and falls in love with the city through to 64, but it's still continuing. The work that Peter's inspired, the inspiration that he's done, is actually still working in the city. And I think it's fabulous that in this year, which may be momentous, an award for the 2011 Edinburgh Award is going to be made to Peter. Well, when I came to Edinburgh to, to, uh, to work in the, uh, what was then the Department of Natural Philosophy in um, the end of 1954, I, I was really, uh, in process of changing my field of research. I'd, I'd been at King's College London as a student and that's where I did my PhD and the kind of theoretical physics I did then was very close to being theoretical chemistry. It was concerned with, with molecules. Uh, but when I moved to Edinburgh I, I changed field, my field of research to uh, the theory of elementary theories of elementary particles, which was what I'd always wanted to, uh, to to do after I'd sort of established myself, and uh, for the first few years in in Edinburgh, well, the first few years were actually two years from fifty four to fifty six. I, I was still very much uh, learning how to handle that kind of of uh, theoretical physics, and I I learnt. Um, a lot from Nicholas Kemmer, who was the person I'd come to work with. He, 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 he had guided a lot of people in his days at, in Cambridge uh, through their PhDs, and, and he, he more or less gave me a list of things I should read about and uh, told me to go away and get on with it. Uh, and that was, it was very helpful to have his expert guidance. Since those early days at Edinburgh, Peter Higgs' work has gone on to form the basis of some of the research being done at the European Centre for Particle Physics, or CERN, in Switzerland, where scientists, including several from Edinburgh, are working to locate the Higgs boson. Having announced at the end of 2011 that they had glimpsed it, the world now awaits further developments. If it's found, then that's work that vindicates previous work, but it also means that we have a direction in which to go because in order to understand even further, we would need to know why certain particles get more mass from interactions with the Higgs field than others. And that actually is very important because what we are actually ourselves and what the present universe is made of is of the lightest things that have been left over from the Big Bang. 
and the heavier things have gone. But we don't know why those heavier things are so much heavier. And if it's through the Higgs boson, and we need to actually study more the intricate properties of the Higgs boson in order to understand our very existence. What will it mean, do you think, therefore, if CERN at some point in the future say, yes, we, we have discovered it, what will, what will that personal effect be, do you think, for you? Uh, well, I'll, I'll probably go and op open a bottle of champagne for a start to celebrate. <laughs> it, it, it will certainly, certainly have an impact on my life, I think. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.